Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So, Trisha Paytas. Now, there has been a lot of talk about her, especially last month, because she came out with her transgender video and she came clean about being transgender but got a lot of backlash for it. So I think mostly why people got super irritated with Trish is because what she said didn't really make sense. There was some things that were obvious to understand but certain things that Trish said for example she feels attracted to gay men so she feels like a man so <laughs> certain things like that just didn't really make sense to a lot of people when she came out with that video. So the first thing I'm gonna say is that I am not going to comment on Trish being transgender, whether some may believe it, whether some may not believe it. I just feel like for me, being a gay cis male, I, it's, it's just not my place to comment on the struggles a transgender has to go through. What I will mostly be commenting on is what Trisha said and how the LGBTQIA community responded and yeah okay so a few things were very confusing when it came to watching trisha's video so for me i'm just gonna say that i felt very conflicted watching her video of her coming out because trish is obviously a very known troll and i didn't know if this was because she wanted to you know get more viewers or get more people's attention whatever the case may be trish doesn't really have a good past because she is a known troll so this was very difficult to try to accept if you will there were a couple signs where i actually did think that she was being genuine with what she was saying because one you can tell she felt very comfortable she felt very laxed about talking about something like this you know i didn't feel like she was bsing the situation at all i felt like she was just being her authentic self she actually seemed happy when she was expressing how she is and how how she likes feeling comfortable when she does certain things and she wears certain attire. Now for me that is what makes me feel like it was genuine. Again, it could be confusing to most because of her trollish past, so people are not sure why she's doing this, if she's being real or not. And I must say, coming out is not the easiest thing. You know, I kind of wish the LGBT community was a little bit more friendlier when she came out with this video. Coming out is hard as it is, and I can't even imagine how hard it would have been for her to come out if she is being truthful about this whole thing. I can't imagine the amount of backlash that she got. I will say that I was extremely disappointed to see a lot of drag queens kind of attacking her. I felt like it would have been so much better if they would have just educated her. You know, just let her know what's up. You know, certain things kind of don't add up. It's okay to question somebody, but I feel like when you are literally trying to make them out to be something that they're not, for me it was a little disappointing seeing how the LGBT community kind of attacked her. And yes, I understand that everybody has struggles. Everybody goes through something. You know, we all have been through a very dark period and kind of seeing someone mock that in a way is not really the most exciting thing to see but at the same time i do not feel like it is necessary to completely drag somebody for how they feel or what they say and i feel like if she was more educated about what she was feeling how she was feeling then she wouldn't have gotten the major backlash that she did she was trending for a while on twitter and it was not pretty. A couple of things didn't really make sense when she was talking about why she felt transgender. One of the examples were she felt like she was attracted to gay men and because she was attracted to gay men, she felt like a gay man. Mm, I don't know. Another thing that she said, she said that girls are beautiful to look at, which I also agree, but I just would never touch a girl. <laughs> like I just like to admire the beauty with my eyes, not my hands. <laughs> Thanks, sis. I can agree with you on that one. Another thing she said, which was actually kind of interesting, is that she had envy. So she would envy anyone with a baby maker because I guess she 
wishes she had that. Another thing she said is that she thinks the trans community calls her and because she feels that way she feels like she should be able to speak on the subject and also thinks that they and them pronouns are a little bit confusing to understand. She says she doesn't really like labels but labels herself as a transgender and says she likes being a guy one day and being a girl the next day, which is perfectly fine. I don't know, I'm really like confused. I kind of don't really know what to say. This is like the first video I've ever made that was kind of like really touchy. Um, I just feel like if someone is going to come out especially the way she did. She should have just been a little bit more cautious with her words and how she says things because they can sometimes come across as very confusing. So I just want to say I am never going to tell somebody they are not what they want to be. If someone is trans, I am not going to make them doubt themselves. If someone is asexual, bisexual, whatever it is, whatever you are, whatever you feel comfortable with, I'm never going to be that person to make you think extra hard about what you truly are because it's none of my business and it shouldn't be anybody else's business. I don't know, it's just hard to say because I know she did hurt a lot of people and because a lot of people's feelings were hurt, that's a major reason why she got so much backlash. But then again, I feel like if she was just educated more and if she was just more well informed about what she was feeling like, then I don't think it would have gotten the reaction that it did out of people. I mean, it's clear that she is confused and she's not sure what she's feeling because she has come out as gay before. She's come out as this, this, and that. And it's just like, I feel like when someone is confused, that's when you're supposed to help them. That's when you're supposed to help them understand. But unfortunately, that's not the way things turned out. And I'm not saying confused as a bad thing because let's admit it, we've all been there before, whether we want to believe it or not. We don't know if we're gay. We don't know if we're straight. We don't know if we feel comfortable in our own body yet until we've gotten to that point in life where we know who we are. So it's clear that she doesn't really know who she is and that's perfectly fine. Do I feel like it was necessary for people to attack her for coming out? Obviously not. Do I feel like the LGBTQ community was wrong in attacking her? Yes, to a certain extent. Do I feel like if she was more careful with her words and more informed, would the outcome be what it is? Obviously not. And like I said before, it's also very hard to believe because she has a past that has a lot of trolling involved. So, yeah, this is just like the first time I just don't know what to say. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think of the topic. I just, I don't know, I don't really have a lot to say. But yeah, if you are new, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.